being born and raised in Canada, I felt that I have a very niche perspective of Southeast Asia. I have a Chinese heritage, so my parents have educated me a bit on some of the traditions, some of the norms and cultures, but being able to first-handedly experience their lifestyle was entirely different. I think that being able to have education from a different country, gaining their perspective, I think that really supplements my education. Singapore Management University was located in the downtown business hub. There were so many different professionals, so many different businesses, and so I want to call that my home for five months. I think going to a new country, every student's mind is about meeting new people. That was also on my mind. But at the end of the day, I'm here for a new experience. Being able to approach people, even though I may be rejected, that's not a problem because the worst thing that can happen is they say no, right? And the best thing that can happen is a lifelong relationship. And that's exactly what happened. I was able to live with five other roommates. And so instantly I got five new friends. Being able to have that apartment and have that social lifestyle, it was very new to me. You know, being able to see how I would cook, how I would deal with everything on my own, having the freedom to do whatever I want. The other aspect was being able to travel everywhere. In Southeast Asia, there were around 12 countries and everything is so close together. I was able to hit 11 of them. So on a Monday, I would say, oh, I want to go somewhere on Friday and then I'll just book the flight. Being able to have that freedom and convenience really elevated my exchange experience. Researching Singapore and learning about how much money I had to pay for the food, for the rent, it averages out. I had a lot of funding and resources from SFU that I could apply to. As well, BC also had lots of grants. And then in addition, while I was applying for exchange, I was also on co-op. And so being able to save that additional funds helped on my finance aspect as well. I took four courses at SMU that were transferable. One was a management course where I was able to operate my own business and consult for local businesses in Singapore. That's not one thing I was able to get at SFU. Being able to plan the specific courses that SMU had to offer, I was able to not delay my graduation for too long. The biggest takeaway was one, personal development on how I should be viewing life. And second was the new career and professional development. I took up a new interest of wanting to pursue a career in consulting, to meet different people and to see a different type of culture. Being able to kind of have a different frame, take on a different lens, I would be able to scope the project a little differently. I think looking back, there, the biggest advice I would give my past self is just take the leap. Hello everybody, my name is Miranda. I'm your study abroad advisor with the Beauty School of Business here at the Office of International Programs. My job is to help you while you navigate through the next couple years of your degree to support you with your international activities. So I encourage you to contact me. I'd be happy to sit down and talk with you about all the different opportunities that are available for you. So maybe we'll look at the different countries, the different schools, you know, some of your passions, your interests, and see if we can find a specific place that's going to suit your goals while you're with us. To be eligible to go on exchange, um, it's not a competitive process. All you need is a 2.67 CGPA, 36 units, and 12 units at SFU. So if you meet those minimum requirements, you are eligible to go on exchange, and we can definitely find some place that'll be perfect for you. Typically, we have two application deadlines, January 25th and May 25th. January 25th is gonna be our main deadline where all of the institutions and partners are going to be available. So if you are looking at going to a more popular institution, this is the application deadline that we recommend applying for. Our main deadline is going to be for all of the institutions that are left over. There's still gonna be really good partners available during that time, but if you are looking to go in that more uh, competitive and popular institution, we recommend the January deadline. Uh, we know that things aren't typical right now, but we do encourage you to apply because sometimes you're applying for a year in advance of what your actual exchange is going to be. We have many different international opportunities available. We have our formal exchange where you're going abroad for a full semester. We have short-term summer programs where you can go away for two, four, six weeks. Uh, we also have field school where you're gonna be going with a group of students with an SFU instructor to another country. So if any of this is of interest to you, come and see me. We'll talk about what your different options are. We'll map out your courses and then we'll see where this international experience will take you.